kind of evidence could there be against you? Oh, come on, it's me. There's always something, right? There's always someone who knows I'm guilty. Well, it doesn't matter what anybody knows. That's not going to hold up in court. What about the gun? Did they find the gun? The gun that I took from Dorian's safe. Did they find it? Well, what does it matter? That wasn't the murder weapon. Yeah. No, I, I, I hear what you're saying. If they find it, they'll be able to prove that it wasn't shot. But we don't have to prove anything. The burden of proof rests with them. Yeah, but they're looking for it. I know they are. I know they're going to look for it because they're going to pin off the somebody. Oh, you didn't say that. They're probably dragging the river right now. Well, even if they did, it's only going to help our case. Right? What about the gun? The one he got at Dorian's? Well, we dragged the river. Couldn't find it. Oh, it's probably buried under a ton of soap by now. Mm. Of course, Todd would know that. Why else would he lead us to a gun that would ultimately convict him? He said that it would exonerate him. And yet, it is conveniently not where he said it was. Yeah, well, we tried to... Uh track all his movements or trace them as best we could, but they got nothing. No, we'll keep looking. Hmm. Listen, as long as Todd's a fugitive, I don't feel the need to make any sudden moves on the, these charges, so. Uh, Taya came by to see me tonight. Has she been in touch with Todd? Yeah, she says they've been talking. She's an officer of the court, you know. If she knows where he is, that she should be encouraging him to... And that's what she's been doing. She's bringing him by tonight. Oh, that's why you said this was important. Yeah, because we don't have time to build a case. She knows that Jack recanted, and uh, she also knows that we have nothing. She's going to have me in front of a judge by morning. Yep. Oh, this sucks. I know. The mayor's going to hate this, too. Well, I tried to warn her. Well, I don't think saying I told you so is exactly what she wanted to hear. Uh, I'm not worried. We should be. I'm an elected official, but you, you working at the pleasure of the mayor. She could drop you in a heartbeat. <laughs> Cutter wanted me to make the moves on you right after Gigi died. I know, obviously I couldn't, but the fact that he would even want me to. The guy you thought was Mr. Ray? Yeah. I mean, I guess I just, I was kind of lost after Joey. I know most people wouldn't believe me, but I really cared about him. So when that was over, I was just really alone. I know the feeling. But I went after Joey's money, so I deserved to get burned. Wait, w w weren't you and Cutter in on that together? Why were you alone? Well, I had fallen in love with Joey, so I broke things off with Cutter. And then when Joey dumped me, I decided I wanted to go straight. And Cutter said he wanted that too, and I really wanted to believe him. Kind of hard to let go. Oh, Rex, I'm sorry. You know what? Let's just forget it. What? What I'm going through is nothing compared to what you're going through. No. I still had to let Gigi go, too. If you don't belong here, do you remember where you do belong? This isn't right. You remember where you came from? This is wrong. I have to go. Steady, hon. You can't go anywhere just yet. You'd be too weak. From what? You were in a coma. It was an accident. I don't remember. It's perfectly normal after trauma. And you just woke up. But this is wrong. All right, just relax and take a few deep breaths, OK? Where's Miss Andrews? She's been here almost every day. Uh, she's been detained. Oh, if Stacy saw a familiar face, it might calm her down. I know. Kim sent me to check on her. I don't understand. We're going to need to do some tests. But in the meantime, you need to rest and don't worry. It's a miracle you're awake. We'll know more tomorrow, but uh, physically, she's remarkably well. She had her memory back? It's a little too early to tell. We'll see. told me about you. Listen, I, I know what he thinks of me, and, and you should know that Jessica and I are, are good friends now. Let me just tell you something. You ever hurt her again? What my pa did to you before will seem tame. You don't have to worry about that. Then neither will you. Glad we got an understanding. Okay. So, uh, this piece of paper... Was it important? Well, Taya didn't seem to know what it was, but she does want it back. I mean, who knows? Maybe it's the deed to a diamond mine or something, you know? 
But anyway, so I thought I should retrace my steps. See, David Vickers wouldn't let it go, so I put it in the carrier with David Vickers, and then I carried the carrier to the kitchen. Remember, you saw me there. You, I, I asked you if you'd seen her. Damn it, Tina. I know you didn't see David Vickers, but but did you see the paper? Now you think I used another gun to kill Victor Lord? Come on, you have other guns. Oh yeah, I kept a full arsenal when the Navy discharged me. I got assault rifles, RPGs. What about a drop piece? This is nuts. You're not serious. Why'd you threaten Victor Lord? I told you. I know what you told me. Why'd you really threaten him? Change the test. William's not my son. So you're saying this is about Liam? You think Victor was that focused on your son? No, you are. That's why you're all over me, John. Because Liam's my son, not yours. Brody. No, it's time somebody said it. You've been all over me for weeks. Any excuse, and it's worse since Natalie and I got engaged. That's what you think. That's what you're doing, John. If you can't see that, then it's time for you to wake up. So do you remember seeing that paper? I mean, maybe it fell out in the kitchen. Look who's home. Guy? He's had a rough day today. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, we were playing in all the leaves at Landview Park. There you go. Oh, 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 oh my goodness, goodness, what a beautiful boy. <laughs> oh, how old is he? He's uh he's nine months now. Oh, what a cutie. <laughs> so uh he just ate and he should be okay until uh until his um bottle. Okay. Alright, well. Oh, are, are you in a hurry? Uh, well, actually there's just it's this new band that's playing Capricorn, and I was gonna go see him. That sounds like fun. Really? Yeah, I'd love to go. It. Wait, you don't have a date, do you? I always thought when somebody died, you just let go. That's not true. No, it's not even close. Gigi was still everywhere. Well, it makes sense that you think about her. I just think, I saw her, I kept hearing her voice, like she was trying to send me a message. What kind of message? It felt like she was trying to give me clues to something. I had no idea what, but I, I looked for it everywhere. I was trying to force it all to mean something. I, I got pretty obsessed. That's not good. No. It really sucked for my son. I stopped paying attention to things I really needed to. It's understandable. Maybe. But it's not okay. Gigi knew how bad I was at helping out our kids. She'd jump out of her grave and let me have it. Doc says you're okay. I'm not. Who are you? My name's Cutter. Do I know you? That's a good question. What's going on? Will you tell me? It might take a while. Do you know who I am? Please tell me who I am. Does the name Marasco ring any bells? Marasco would be the first person to tell me to snap out of it. Think about Shane, he's what matters. How's Shane doing? Sorry, I know, it's none of my business. Hey, no, you're a bartender, right? I haven't shut up for the last half hour. <laughs> he's the best. He's funny, smart, talented. Sounds like a great kid. I just want you to think about him here and now. Focus on the living. My sister Natalie is marrying Brody Lovett. I'm throwing them an engagement party. Wow. What? It's a pretty big deal. Yeah, she's always been there for me. I wanted to do something for her. I have no idea if I'm ready for it. I think Shane will be into it. There's so much stuff to plan. I'm sure Echo and Roxy want to jump right in. That's a problem. Are you kidding? We'll be at each other's throats before the invitations go out. Maybe I can help. Why are you so worried about the gun? 
Oh, come on. Like you've never been framed for murder. You think the commissioner's gonna frame you for murder? I think Nora would. Not with me as your lawyer. Look, I can't guarantee that the charges are gonna be dropped right away, but they will be the minute I'm in front of a judge. And Nora knows that, okay? You need to turn yourself in. Yeah, I should, right? I don't understand. You practically ran me down trying to get out of here earlier. You were hell-bent on getting Star out no matter what. What changed while I was gone? If that mayor wants to fire me because the facts don't fit her agenda, then so be it. I could always just take this case to trial. Oh, come on. Red, they'd laugh you right out of court. Mm. What if you got that Judge Lee again? Oh, God, he already hates me because I charged half the town with Eddie Ford's murder. You bring one more bad case before that guy, and you're never going to get on his good side again. And you can't just take Todd to trial to get the mayor off my back. I don't think it's your back that she wants to get on. Oh, give me a break. Now you know get it's out. true. You so know it's true. <laughs> You know, if you hadn't turned her down way back when, maybe she wouldn't be trying to push you around now. Well, maybe if I knew she was going to be the mayor someday, I'd have never turned her down. Hey! Hey, hey, hey. You looking for a free pass, buddy? No, huh? maybe not. <laughs> no that way. mayor knows that there's only one woman for me. <laughs> You're scared of something. What happened when I was gone? Taya? I think I'm going a little crazy. I'm really worried. Look, you're not going to prison. I'm going to get the murder charge dropped. But you need to turn yourself in for yourself and for Star. The sooner you are cleared, the sooner we can find my husband's killer. Oh, I'm, Look, I'm, you need to change out of those pajamas right now. We need to go, Tara, all right? No, I'm not. I'm not going anywhere. What? Why not? I need to tell you something. 